Hey, I'm honestly not sure if I can say something supportive to you right now and I'm just going to do my best based on the fact that we're all one and that I'm just coming in with all my heart and my perspective and so I'm white and I'm seeking to make my comments relevant to people of any color and all experiences uh, because I'm a woman and I've given birth and raised kids I often take the mama perspective and the closest I've got is uh, I've got a trans kid living in the city and uh, I know what could happen to him out there that's about prejudices and people just looking at someone and making a bunch of assumptions and uh, reacting however they react which could be violent to the point of taking a life. So when I first heard George Floyd's name I right away it I didn't even call it forth I just imagined a mama when he was younger calling George hey George and uh, he didn't know how long he had to live and how he would die and she didn't know that and uh, we get through these human lives and I want to invite you to be present with the truth of what is to be present with your pain and confusion whether you're feeling terror rage, sorrow, whether you want to shut it down, come closer, weave back and forth between those, maybe you feel guilt, uh, whether you've done anything or not, just white people guilt or whatever, or do, uh, whatever, I haven't done enough, I don't know what to do, powerlessness, all this stuff. So I invite you to be present to it and one of the things that I say about presence is, you know, presence lets everything in the room be in the room. So many factors, so many feelings to have, so many things to think, so many directions we could point fingers. The fact is we are on planet Earth where we're in evolutionary healing processes, where there are barking dogs, where... Um, Things aren't done. There's work to be done. There's there's evolution to be had. There's messy, messy stuff. Some of it's truly horrific, and let's not be in denial of that. And uh, love is here. People who really genuinely care. People who want to make a difference. People who want to be part of the change. People who want value of every precious human being who wants to assume nothing, to see innocence first. That's all there too. That's all there too. We've been on a trajectory. There are things that have been improved for people of color. There are things that have improved for women. And there are things that just feel like they haven't budged. Uh, you know, there's actual information to be had out there. I looked at a New York Times article where there was a chart about what's happened since 2014 when there were six months of, of uh, exposures to important random killings of black men, one of which was a boy, the 12-year-old child who was killed. Damn, I can't think of his name right now, but it starts with a T. Okay, the name we're trying to keep in view right now is George Floyd, and he mattered and his death was senseless and when you want to hold the pain of that here's some stuff you can do gosh i hope you can hear me above my barking dog but that's a pretty good soundtrack for this whole thing we need to raise the alarms okay so find the pain in your body just be willing whether you want to watch videos or not, I have not watched the video of the senseless killing. My son watched it and then wanted to describe it to me at length just to help himself work through it. And so I sat through listening to that. Whatever you want, you, you're allowed to have boundaries. Whatever you want to let in, let it in. What you need to keep out, keep it out. And find a place where you can let it in. And where you're willing to breathe with your own thoughts and feelings and reactions. I watched a video uh, that showed George talking to younger people, inviting them to move away from gun violence. So I got to see his face, I got to see who he was, the beauty of that human being who cared about exhorting younger people to move away from creating a terrifying, unsafe reality to live in. Yeah, that's who was killed senselessly.
by police and it did me good to sit and look at his face and hear his voice and tune into his heart and just cry. And I invite you to let in whatever you're feeling, to be still with it, even briefly. The pain body is the, the place in your body where emotions register, a term coined by Eckhart Tolle. Let yourself be still with it for a moment or move with it, but let yourself feel in your body whatever you feel. It actually does us good to do that. It actually helps it move through you to let yourself feel it, to find it in the body, to feel the exact density and quality of the sorrow, rage, uh, powerlessness, fear that this brings up for you. I invite you to breathe it. I invite you to even stay with it in the night if it visits you in the night. If, if the breath is hard to find because your breath goes shallow and pools in some shallow place under your throat at the top of your chest, just, just hang out there for a while. Just to give it your awareness is worth something, it is a way that you can honor a lost life even for a few moments so that you're not just looking away so that you're letting yourself feel what you feel i invite you to play a game that i've created uh that i think of as uh so here's the metaphor you carry around the pain that's still with you and instead of trying to shove it down or push it away since it's here since you're aware of it or maybe it's touching down periodically maybe it's lodged inside you it's staying with you either way imagine that that pain now that you found it in your body is is the baby that you're carrying around in a baby carrier you know when you strap the baby to your body or you've either done it or you've seen others do it either you're walking around carrying the baby it's strapped against your chest it's right there some part of you is always aware of it let it be there let yourself stay aware of it but you can still move through the day through your world through your through what you've got to take care of a task whatever you can you can move through while this is here with you but hold it close keep aware of it when there's a baby in the baby carrier some part of you is always aware of it allow that awareness feel it tune into it check in with it like you would a baby with a baby you touch it you might sniff it you might just be aware of each movement tune in to the part of you that's carrying around the, the strong emotion around a senseless death and this pervasive problem at our current evolutionary stage of trying to grow ourselves as human beings we're not at peace joy love bliss yet carry around the sorrow of that the separateness of that the horror of that the sor the everything of that the fear that that uh, brings up for you so walk around be aware of the pain body activated take moments to check in with it like you would that baby breathe into it give give it a number if you want sometimes it's at a dull three sometimes it spikes it's at nine it's at ten but allow yourself to interact with it like a real entity we've got to find ways to be with our strong emotions and not just shove them down or try to numb them or, or just respond to them with thought trying to rail about things or talk about things when there's nothing more to say or when we're in repeating ranting or wherever you go it's not easy to figure out how to be with this so find ways to be with it where you're just allowing yourself to feel it to breathe it to be aware of it the pain body wants your awareness and breath awareness and breath awareness and breath send blessings send blessings to the people who knew George loved George the woman who filmed it the cops who were in doing it or condoning it by not stopping it the other people on the scene who wanted to intervene or tried to intervene or implored uh, for something different to happen those who made decisions to swiftly fire to to prosecute like send blessings send blessings to people rioting send blessings to every uh, frightened furious sorrowful indignant person of color on the planet right now send blessings send blessings to Minneapolis send blessings 
to those around you, to your kids, to anyone. Send blessings. Let's bring in love. Let's, let's be the change we want to see. Let's at least just vote for further evolution. Stay with the pain body while it's active. Give it your awareness. Give it your breath.